Each gang has its own tattoos, so that each gang will have the tattoos that mean their own things for them. For example, the Latino gangs, you see a solid teardrop. Each solid teardrop is one person he's murdered for his gang in the jail. You see these guys with teardrops running down their faces. So they all have, each gang has its own um, tattoo structure and style. Yeah. And it, I mean, it sounds horrific, this picture. What was the worst act of gang violence that you saw? Mm. Uh, when I first went in, it was like, well, I saw so much. I still have nightmares about it. And um, when I first went in, there was a guy, the skinheads were beating this guy up in the shower, and they were smashing him and um, jumping on him. Like, like here, bombs breaking stuff like that. I'm on the phone to my girlfriend in the day room, and the guard, um, well, no, the guys didn't see, but the prisoners start coming over and, and checking it out. And um, what happens is the skinheads leave, and the guy's just in a pool of blood in the shower, whimpering. And this big guy goes up to the main skinhead. He's got like tattoos, um, cobwebs on his neck. He goes, How come we can still hear him, dog? Because that's what they say, mate. It's like dog out there. He says, We smashed him good, dog. He says, Not good enough, dog. And just goes into the shower, and it's like he's trying to break up the coconut. And just grabs the guy's head. Crap, 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 crap. And he just walks out all, as casually as he walked in. And I'm thinking, oh my god, this, you know, this, this stuff really happens. And um, a guard does a security walk about 20 minutes later. And he sees this guy. And he's, he announces, lockdown, lockdown. Everybody runs back to the cells. I want to see what kind of damage there is, um, so I put my head to the window, and this guy, I'll never forget it, not only is this guy on a stretcher looking like he's dead, there's not just blood coming out of his head, there's like yellow stuff, like brain stuff, and I've just seen constant acts of violence like that. Um, one of my readings actually is a conversation I had with someone, because what happened was, while I was in the jail, a guard said to me, the world has no idea what's really going on in here. Because the guards were murdering the prisoners as well, and tens of millions was paid out to the family members of the victims of the guards murdered. The boss of the jail, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, what he did to the guards who were found in federal court responsible for murdering these prisoners, he promoted them, gave them pay rises. So because of all the human rights violations in this jail, Obama's at war with him, he's trying to take sheriff's powers away. He said, I I'm gonna elect official, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Students chained themselves to this building last year. They had them all arrested and thrown in this jail. Now, a guard said to me, the world has no idea what's really going on in here. So I decided that was about to change. A little pencil sharpened on the door, I started writing it all down. I couldn't put it in the mail because the guards could open the mail. What I did was I had my aunt smuggle it out. She would come and visit me on the weekends. Now, this was, I was in maximum security by then. The visits were through plexiglass windows, like in Silence of the Lambs, when Clarice Starling first went to Hannibal Lecter. So I couldn't pass anything to her through the glass. But I could release property to, through uh, the guards to her, so I hid what I wrote in legal paperwork and letters. Gave that to the guards. First time I did it, my heart's going like crazy, thinking the guards going to find it. But they're trained to look for contraband, um, syringes, drugs. So he gives it to my aunt at the end of the visit. She smuggled them out. They got put on the internet, and it went on to attract international media attention to the conditions. That jail that I was at was closed down two years later, but he's, he runs about eight jails this time. He's still going strong.